Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be editing the layout parameter values of an alignment in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll use the Alignment Entities Vista and Alignment Layout Parameters dialog box to edit the layout parameter values of an alignment. This exercise continues from the Creating Alignments tutorial. Note ensure the dynamic input is turned on. The way you go about doing that is just type in DYN and make sure it's set to 1 which it currently is so press enter. This drawing uses the align-4 drawing in your tutorials folder. The drawing contains a surface marked with several circles as you can see here labeled A through F. Note ensure that object snap or O snap is turned on you do that by clicking on this button right here. If the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar isn't open, go ahead and select your alignment. Then, in the Modify panel, click on Geometry Editor. On the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar, click the Alignment Grid View. You can go ahead and examine the Alignment Entities table in Panorama. In the first column, you'll see that the alignment segments are numbered in the order in which they're solved. Each row of the table shows useful design data about a specific entity. Each curve group has a two-part entity number and a separate table row for each spiral and curve. Values shown in black can be edited. Note to make other parameters available for edit, you can change the tangency constraint by clicking on it and you get a drop down window. Or you can change the parameter constraint. Just click this little lock icon. On the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar, click the Sub Entity Editor. Now as you can see right here, the layout parameters window is displayed but it contains no data. Go ahead and select the grid view button again and then select any row for segment number four which is the free spiral curve spiral entity in circle C in your drawing window. The design data for all three of these sub entities is displayed in a two column table in the Alignment Layout Parameters window, where the data is easy to review and edit. If your design requires precise values for minimum curve radius, length, or spiral A values, you can use the Alignment Layout Parameters window to enter the values. In this window, let's go ahead and change the length value for a spiral to a higher number such as 100. Note how this immediately increases the spiral length in three locations in both the Alignment Layout Parameters window and in the Alignment Entities table. If we close all of this out, numeric values change and the geometry points move along with their station values and the length of the spiral itself changes. Let's go about displaying a range of sub-entities in the Alignment Entities Vista. In the drawing, control click the curve entity for Circle B. The Alignment Entities Vista displays only the attributes for the curve entity. In the drawing, control click the spiral curve spiral entity in circle C. Notice that the alignment entities vista now displays the attributes for each of the entities you selected, plus the tangent between them. To display the parameters of another entity in the alignment layout parameters dialog box, press escape to display all alignment entities on the alignment entities vista. So that's how you go about editing the layout parameter values of an alignment in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, 
visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.